All right, so as you can tell, I'm not in my normal bedroom that I'm normally in. I'm in a whole new room. If you follow me on social media, you already know why, but I'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, this is not my bedroom. I'm basically still moving in. There's some packages still here, there, or not packages, boxes still there that need to be unboxed. I have to get some stuff out of this room in order to actually set everything up, but that'll be done within the next couple of weeks or so. I'm still trying to move some stuff out of my old house into here just because I don't want to take everything because... I don't have room for everything that's in my other room, but at the same time, I still will be living at that house here and there whenever I need to, you know, be on that side of town for some reason. That stuff, like, will stay over there. I'm not gonna be filming any more videos there, of course, because I have, you know, a new setup. I got a new desk, love this desk. Besides that, let's go ahead and get into what this video is about. So basically, I quit my job at the University of Houston, you know, shooting sports. My main sports were track and field and golf, and I love the sports, don't get me wrong. I really love shooting sports, sports is, been a lot of fun. Now, I never saw this as like a long-term thing, maybe five years max, because I like to move quick. I like to move on like what I'm doing. Not necessarily quick, five years is a long time, but I was already three years deep, literally hit three years by the time I quit. So I never thought I would love sports as much as I did when filming them, but it turns out to be really cool. All the memories that I made from, you know, shooting championship games, championship meets, getting to go to different states, getting to go to the most beautiful places like Oregon, Cabo, stuff like that. I never thought I'd get to do that for a job, but here I am now. Uh, not doing that anymore, but I still get to travel here and there for the videos that I'm gonna be doing. Now, the reason I actually quit working at U of H is because I started working for the YouTuber Jadeon. A lot of y'all know what he does. Uh, he used to do pranks and stuff like that if you don't know who he is, but now he's doing EDP catches. So basically what that means is that we catch predators that are trying to meet with my online and end up showing up in person to meet with them which is crazy to me like stuff people actually do this and yes those videos are real none of them are fake i would not be working for them if it was fake content i actually turned down this job because somebody tried to get me to do gold digger pranks completely turned that down because i don't want to do fake content i really have a passion for videography in general so getting to do what i've always wanted to do i always had a thing for youtube if y'all know my main channel that i had at like almost 5k i had over 5k at one point on there but uh with that channel being died off pretty much over a year and a half or so since i've made a video i don't really film youtube videos other than for duran media stuff now which is okay with me because i actually kind of like this content and the channel's been doing so good i know i've been gone for like 50 plus days, but the channel has been doing so good, even though I haven't been uploading. And I'm actually very proud of that because my old channel, I put so much work, so much effort in, and it never pay off. And it kind of makes me feel bad because this channel was doing so good and I have not been able to put the effort I wanted to into it. So now I'm back. Basically, I've been so busy filming like tournaments, NIL shoots, U of H stuff until I quit. Like I put my two weeks in, I didn't just quit. So I had those two weeks I had to work and I was just so busy with that. Also working with Jadon at the same time, trying to make videos. So I was working two jobs at the same time with freelance in between. And it was just so overwhelming that I didn't really have time to make and edit videos. I actually have three videos shot already that need to be uploaded. Two of them are BTS videos one of an NIL shoot, one of the TBT tournament. And then I also had the week in the life of the Insta360, which I'm still debating if I'm gonna upload this video first or that video. It'll probably be this video. Yeah, I'll probably upload this video first and then that one, cause that one's already done. I just need to upload it and make a thumbnail for it. And this video is literally just a sit and talk video so I can just edit this up real quick. Yeah, so I've had no time to edit any of that today. While the house was getting cleaned, I had time to like go to a coffee shop, knock out the rest of that video. This video will take me probably an hour to edit max. So I have some time to catch up now. That's one of the best parts about this job is that I still get to do what I love but also it's not as overbearing for you know what I was doing like every every for a full paycheck over there I had to work 80 hours every pay period which is normal for normal jobs of course but for like creative like stuff it's hard to be creative when you're constantly working 80 hours every two weeks 80 hours and it's just hard to like stay determined to do YouTube stuff as well because I'm doing 80 hours of that at work now I'm trying to go home and edit a YouTube video, like I have burnout. Like burnout is is what was holding me back from making more and more videos on Duran Media. But now that I will have time to edit and shoot some videos here and there, I'm definitely gonna be doing that. I have one video, two videos I need to shoot. Like I said, I don't know if I've said this in this cut. I had shot this, this is my second time shooting this, but I did get a light that I'm gonna be unboxing from a brand that sent it to me for free. Obviously, it'll be my own opinions on that, but that I'm actually using the light right now just because I don't have a light set up in my room, so <laughs> oops. But basically, I'm gonna be coming back and making more Duran Media videos. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I am gonna miss some of the sports because like, I, I love the athletes. The athletes are great. They're great people. They're fun to shoot, fun to be around. And just like overall, it's been a good experience with me, for, or good experience for me with them. And I am going to miss it. I mean, a lot of them 
you know, are not sad, but like kind of disappointed that I'm gone, but it shows that like how much of a bond I've built with these athletes and kind of made me appreciate more of like that I got to work with them. You know, I got to work with uh, Olympians. I was gonna say future Olympians, but now they're actually Olympians. Like I, I get to work with the, some of the greatest athletes out there. And I'm proud to say that I worked at U of H, you know, getting to do that because not everybody gets that opportunity. And you'd be surprised, like you would think working in college is so easy and so easy to get into, but the amount of people that like would DM me, hit me up, asking how to get the job and seeing the demand for the job itself in college sports is actually so high. And it's kind of crazy to see how how demanding it is, you know, with me just being in it, just being like, oh, this is like, this is, this is for real. Like more people want to work in college sports than they want to do in pro level, which makes sense because the pay is not that good at the pro level. I'm not going to lie. It's just crazy to me that I was in a position that people desired to be in and I kind of gave that up. But do I regret leaving sports? <laughs> not really sports like i said it was going to be a short-term thing maybe five years or so because i i like to move on quickly with my content and my abilities like sports is a good job to have just you know to start out learn new things definitely learns new editing styles like it's, it's, it's very complex it's not as easy as you would think it would be it's hard it's hard to be creative because you would have to make a recap every week after every track meet for me it was just hard to be creative constantly when i'm filming and editing but now with this job i'm for the most part just going to be filming so that burnout will slowly dissipate whenever i have to start editing my own videos and then i'll eventually get burnt out of my own videos but hopefully that's not the case because i actually do like doing youtube videos videos and I like you know doing the unboxing and all that just for y'all because y'all obviously love it I get the comments people saying they love the style of videos that I do I don't really know what style that is um <laughs> It's just me putting up the camera, keeping it pretty simple. Of course, I could go crazy with the edits, but there's no point for me just to go crazy on an edit to like get to the point, you know? If I can get to the point by just clean, simple cuts, then I'm gonna do that because of course the extra stuff is cool and it's more engaging, but it's excessive for no reason. I would like to keep the creativeness to special videos that I need to be creative, you know? I'm not gonna be doing like music here, sound effects here, this and that, just for an unboxing video. Like that makes no sense to me, so. Yeah, pretty much that's why I'm in this new house. So I quit my job and I am actually moved in with Jadon. So I live here now and this is my room. Um, it's like I said, it's not fully set up. There's still boxes and stuff that I need to unpack. But yeah, this is now the new room I'm going to be staying in for my videos. <laughs> but like I said, I have videos already lined up, ready to upload, videos that are ready to be edited. So as soon as I get those done, I'm gonna get those uploaded. I'm gonna do maybe one to two times a week if I can, I'm gonna see how that goes. This week there will obviously be two videos because the one I edited in this video, for sure, or I should say next week, cause it's already Wednesday. So next week will be, it'll be this video and then the next video and then maybe one more that week. So we'll see how it goes, see how my editing, you know, time works because I do have some client shoots that I'm still doing. And yes, I can still do client work. So I still do that on the free days that I have, which is awesome because it's extra source of income. I still get to be creative. I still get to kind of work in sports because I still work with athletes and stuff. So overall, I'm not necessarily leaving sports completely, but I am leaving it mainly, you know, as my core main job because I am working full time now here. But yeah, that's pretty much a life update of why I've been gone for the past 50 something days. And I'm just glad to be back in a new space. It helps me be more creative because it's not cramped up like my old room was. And yeah, hopefully the ideas are getting a lot better from here on out. And I hope you all enjoyed them. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.